Hi, I'm Jerome Perry, and I'm doing a presentation on Earthship Homes. As you see here, it's a picture of a bunch of tires and bottles, and you figure, what you, how can you build a home out of that? Well, let's take a look at it. The region I picked was tri-state area, Chattanooga. We got a lot of hills and mountains and a lot of drinkable water. Uh, I, I love the quality of water here, uh, and there's abundance of well water that can be obtained. And this is a picture of a, a Earthship home that's built, so they don't look too bad. They, most of the time they're built in the side of a hill or a mountain. To make it sustainable, it's easy to install solar water heating and solar power to be to obtain off-grid living. For water, we can drill a well and the solar power can power the well and all gray water can be used for irrigation or and with a gray water holding tank, we can use it for landscaping any kind of outdoor water, extra water needs we need without wasting water. The septic, I've always been a fan of the infiltrate system. The infiltrate, if you're not familiar with it, is like half a 55 gallon drum set on top of permeable ground. And with this system, when you cover it with dirt, unlike septic fill lines, you can't drive over them because they'll collapse. These will not collapse. You can drive over them. Uh, and they take up a lot less area than a, a fill line will with a normal septic tank. This is an example of how Earthship homes are built. You can take tires and pack them full of earth and stack them. And you can take bottles and turn them sideways and place them inside of concrete and make a wall out of it. So this is an example of a cut through of a Earthship home. You use your tires packed with dirt stacked on top of each other like Legos and then put a, a cement exterior on it to cover the tires, but it kind of gives you a, like a, a Spanish feeling home, I guess, as I've seen a lot of that type in, Span in, in Mexico. And then you use wood logs and stuff for the timbers, but you can use regular roofing rafters. I don't see why that'd be a problem. But if you use logs, you can cover it with dirt and even put a garden on top. and. I don't know if anybody's ever went caving or not, but uh, caves keep a constant 50 degrees temperature. So with this setup, you, it's very efficient as far as heating and cooling. All the lights in the house will be supplied by solar panels. So I'd like to keep all the lighting at DC. That way it's easy to hook up without having to have an inverter. But with solar power, you always get an inverter where you can't have AC because a lot of refrigerator or AC units run off AC. And for speaking of AC and heating, this is called geothermal uh -huh. heating. You can have pipes go underground to actually cool and heat your house. So everything's self-sufficient. And those are the references for the pictures.